welcome back to our channel. We are so excited for today's episode. Finally, after almost two months of vet visits, antibiotic injections, quarantining in the bathroom, TikTok, our rescued ball python, is finally ready for her new enclosure. So we reached out to Zen Habitats and told them her story, and they loved it and offered to send us one of their incredible four-foot enclosures. So we're gonna be setting that up today and then introducing her. So for the last couple of days, Chris and I have been working on this background for TikTok's enclosure. So take a look. I think it came out pretty good. We're actually about to shake out the extra. This has been sitting for a few days. A couple of videos ago, I did Cypress's background, my pine snake in the Zen Habitat's um, habitat. I did a background and walked you through everything. So just to save time, we're gonna speed it up. But I added some um, of this, what is this called? Oh, cork bark. And then cocoa husk and some moss. And I think it came out really, really good. I might have to clean up the edges a little bit once we slide it into the actual frame, but uh, let's take a look and see how it came out. You ready? All that extra is gonna fall out. Looks good. I think it looks awesome. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Once it's in, we can clean up this area. We can always add some more. Uh, I'm just not sure if that's gonna fit in. The last time I did this, I did it with the background in the enclosure, but it was a little bit difficult because I had to lead into it. So this time we are trying it separate and then we're gonna slide it in. Not even close. <laughs> So we will have to trim this a little bit, which is what I thought, which is fine. We can just cut this with a little, um, a little knife and then it will fit perfectly. That's a good way to get all the excess out, huh? <laughs> Let's see. Wow. That looks awesome. Now this bare spot down here is going to be covered with substrate so you're not going to see that and that hole gets plugged up with either um you can use it comes with like a plug or you can put like a fogger or run wires through it but we're probably going to cover that up how's it going it's going mine's not really working out but i'm also trying to do it one-handed <sighs> these are the doors This is much easier with two hands. Yeah, I'm doing a pretty good job, I think. <laughs> what? How is yours so perfect? Look at mine. I need you to do mine. <laughs> okay so we're all done with this part and now is the fun part we're gonna bring it inside and set this baby up okay so chris's phone actually ran out of storage so we did not record ourselves adding the two bags of soil but we added the two bags of rep soil the bio bedding some cocoa puffs and now we're gonna add some Mangolia leaves. Magnolia. Magnolia leaves. Chris got so mad at me for buying these. He's like, why are you spending money on dead leaves when we can just go collect them in the backyard? But they're not magnolia leaves. No, but we have suitable leaves <laughs> on the ground in our backyard but for they're not free. This big. And Gabby spent $12 13. on a bag, $13 on a bag of 
dried leaves. They're so pretty. Magnolia. Mangolia or Magnolia? Magnolia. I said it right? Magnolia. Okay. Um, <laughs> I hate them. Okay, maybe we won't use so many. <laughs> That's okay, we can add it for, to the biological people. So I got this beautiful hide for her at PetSmart. It's extra large. We're gonna put this, I don't know. Do we like it there or do we want it in a corner? Mm, I would do a corner. Like that. Get the hides in. We have a water dish, which I'm gonna put. Do we like it like that? Or do we want it the other way? Is this one? Uh, put some lighting on it and put it on top of the others in Habitat. Okay. All right, so here it is, guys, the finished product. It came out so nice. We are going to add a heating pad to the bottom. We're just waiting for the, um, the thermostat to come on Amazon. Look at that. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to add her in. Okay, here it is. It's looking amazing. I'm so happy with how this came out and this little girl deserves the world. So I'm so happy to introduce her into her new home. This core sneak has been through so much. So I'm really happy that she gets a happy ending. You ready, TikTok? Okay, so it's been an hour and Miss TikTok has figured out how to climb on her background. I love making backgrounds like this because it's just interactive. It's just something that um, can they can interact with and it gives them enrichment. And it's a perfect basking spot for her as well. So I'm really happy. So I think TikTok loves her new enclosure. And I just wanted to give a huge thank you to Zen Habitats for sending us this gorgeous enclosure. I seriously love their stuff so much. They are just beautiful, durable, they're large, they are lightweight. I love how the front opens. I just, I love everything about these enclosures. And I'm gonna put my affiliate link in the description box. So if you wanna check them out, you can get your own and use my link. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you think of her enclosure. Uh, if you want to see more of her and what you guys want to see, make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys real soon. Thanks.